Recording live from the Northeast Georgia Business Radio X Studio, this is Northeast Georgia Business Radio presented by Regions Bank. Start building your financial confidence at Regions Bank. Member FDIC, an equal housing member. Welcome back. Welcome back, folks, to another exciting edition of Northeast Georgia Business Radio. I'm your host, Tom Sheldon. And yeah, we're coming to you live from the beautiful Empower College and Career Center of Jackson County. This episode, we're going to shine some light on things. Ha, 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 no one is laughing. I got a studio full, and no one is laughing. Anyway, I have to, I have to shout out quickly, though. My, my good buddy Mike Salmond has surfaced straight from uh, Paris, France, his Olympic duties. Oh, wow. See, he gives himself applause. You know, Mike, they may need you back in Paris. I'm just saying, I'm glad you're here. I kind of forgot what you look like. But with me today, more importantly, more importantly, with me today from Lighting Pros, Matthew Eford. Matthew, welcome to the Northeast studio. Thank you for having me. Did I get it right? Yeah. No, yes. You got it right. That was stress, man. Eford. Yeah. Lighting Pros. Did you like the whole, we're going to throw some light on it thing? I did. That was horrible. I, 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 it was I, ungodly horrible. I thought it was great. Yeah, you know. You know. It's weird because I usually am a much better host when I don't have the producer in here. Yeah. It's just I'm kind of worried what he's doing. Sure. Yeah, it's just it's, I'm a micromanager. It's sure. horrible. I, I thought your comment was illuminating. It, it illumin- yeah, see, there you go. And yet it keeps rolling. It just keeps rolling. Lighting pros. Right, we do. All kinds of lighting. All kinds of lightings. We do for Big, small, you name it. Big smalls. We, we do um, downtown cities. One of our local cities here that we do all their Christmas lights. So we do really? temporary lighting. You drive downtown, down Brazelton. That's one of our jobs. We have the opportunity to work with cities as well as homeowners, so kind of the, the whole gamut there. We started out as a Christmas lights business, so mm-hmm. I have another seasonal business that I own. It doesn't operate during the winter, right. and so we needed a solution to provide for staff mm-hmm. revenue in the off-season. Oh, yeah. And we started looking at different opportunities, came into the Christmas light space about 2017, 2018 time frame. found out that there was a lot of opportunity in the outdoor lighting that folks were needing some help there. We started providing Christmas lights to our commercial, or excuse me, to our residential clients right. that we were doing outdoor pest control for. Okay. And then we got into the commercial space where somebody owned a business and they said, hey, my house looks great. Yeah. Can you put these lights on my business? We said, sure, we can figure that out. I can and imagine. that has ballooned out. We do, as, a, as an organization, we do about 90% commercial. That's really a specialty of ours. Work with a lot of downtowns, a lot of Chick Fil A's. The big Chick Fil A over in Athens is one of our jobs, the one on cool. the highway. So it's right. it's really fun. You're putting lights on the lights on the light poles, the, yes. the decorations that light up. Yeah, so as you drive down the street, things yeah. like that. So any kind of outdoor decorations, from the giant Christmas trees to the ornament balls to the walkthrough displays, we do custom displays. More than just lights. More than just lights. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Man, where do you store all that? It's a great question. So we've got, <laughs> we've got know. A, a couple of warehouses, but one of them here locally is off of 82. We've got some okay. space up there by the airport. It takes some time getting it organized. Uh, we, we go vertically. As I had a mentor of mine tell me, you don't look at the square footage when you look at store and you look at the cubic footage. That's right. you got to so go up. you got to go up. Yeah. And so that, that's what we've done and then been able to organize it that way. Because I imagine a, from the road, a Christmas tree decoration looks like a few inches. It's probably a couple feet. Yeah. It's as big as you and I are. Correct. Yeah. Oh, wow. Four yeah, cl- so we, four we, cliffs and all. Yeah. So we, we <laughs> go all the way up to 60-foot trees. I mean, oh, wow. We got some, some really large ones. The nice thing about it is is for specifically a commercial space, the business owner, their storage space is a premium for themselves. Yeah. Their, oh, yeah. their staff, right? There's a liability concern if they have their staff doing things that are outside of their workers' comp. Mm-hmm. It's also not driving revenue for them. But what we found is stores that install lights, they typically see a 5 to 7% bump in their revenue year over year at the end of the season, that they really get some good returns. So There's an ROI for a business owner when they're really? looking to draw eyes to their business. I can see that. Yeah. And you're talking about the businesses they contract with you, regardless of what they do. Correct. I could actually see a lighting company using you. Sure. On a grand scale. Sure. Something maybe bigger they care to do. Yeah. We work with a lot of organizations that do similar things to us. They yeah. just don't do it on the scale that we do yeah. or that they're looking for the assistance of storage is a big deal. I can um, imagine. Quality materials is a really big deal. So you can get a lot of this stuff from 
Home Depot, and I love to shop at Home Depot. Oh, yeah. But yeah. the quality of materials you're getting there is is very very different than the commercial grade materials we have. There is a difference, yes. There's a very big difference, yeah. And that's what you use. So one of the things is little education. Yeah. The, the LED lights. Think of the light bulb as like a pen cap, and the pen cap. When you turn that LED light on, it shines out of a spotlight out of the top of the pen cap. A good quality commercial Christmas light has an S and D bulb in it, and it actually illuminates the entire bulb or the entire pin cap. So what happens is if you are installing lights along a building and they're different angles, so mm-hmm. one of them may be pointed a little more at you and one of them may be pointed a little away from you, those will look like two different color lights. Yeah, I can see that. It looks bad. Yeah. And so a yeah. quality light, the entire light bulb is lit. So it doesn't matter imperfections in the building. As you go to install them, they're going to look really clean, really consistent across the whole board. That's a lot to think about. It, it's a lot. And so when we work with a business owner, they don't want to think about that. No, gosh. Right? No. They, they, want to, they want to be able to budget. They want to be able to set and say, hey, here's, here's my budget line item for my Christmas decorations. Mm-hmm. Lighting Pros comes in, takes care of it. I don't have to mess with anything. So we install, maintenance, take down, and store all of our materials. I can imagine, though, if someone has you coming out, they want to know that, well, obviously, you know what you're doing, right? Sure. But you're not going to just put some stuff up and disappear. It's a great question. And that's probably where your longevity really helps you. Yeah. We get, unfortunately, we get calls every year uh, of folks who are looking for a cheaper provider. Oh, yeah. It's fine. Oh, yeah. They work within their budget. We totally respect that. Mm -hmm. But we get calls every single season that someone will go with a cheaper provider, they put the lights up, and then they ghost them. You never hear yeah. from them again. They, they've moved town, they've moved cities, they've moved states, whatever the circumstances may be. And so by going with a provider, so this is, this is our core business, mm-hmm. Christmas lights. Right. We do all year long lighting. So I have team members that they work in this business all year long. We're not a landscaper. We're not what we call chucking a truck. Who just Chuck decides, in a truck, I love that. Who just decides, hey, I'm going to put up some lights because I don't have anything else to do. That there's right. a specialty to this to do it in a quality way. When you got to think about the layout of the design, where you're running power from, how is it going to be a liability for the commercial space, That's all true. of those things. How That's do you true. keep it clean? How do you keep it professional? Because you want the lights to look great at night. That's what they're paying for. But you also don't want it to look gaudy during the day. Right. So you got to work through some of the design elements with the, with the business owner. We do everything we can to help them. We typically go out in January, February, and help take their lights down and get it cleaned up for them. I got to imagine there's always, I shouldn't say a fear, but you always have to take into account a potential fire hazard. Sure. Or shall we say avoiding sure. a potential fire hazard. Sure. You definitely do. That's where you got to know some of the numbers around what is available to be run off of a specific right. outlet. You What's already run off of before you get there. Correct. Yeah. yeah. What's kind of pull is, are you able to pull off of the specific outlet? How far can you make a run? What type of materials are you can, there's a really thin material out there, really thin lighting cable. Squirrels will nick it and it will become hot and it will melt. Again, oh, yeah. you get what you pay for. A lot of stuff on Amazon personally order a lot of stuff from Amazon, but not as a business. Mm-hmm. A lot of that stuff's coming from unchecked, unverified quality control issues. Right. Possibly low quality. Correct. We run all LED. That really helps a lot. On the, I the imagine so. That's a big change that's happened kind of in the industry from incandescent to LED to now the new SMD mm-hmm. LED bulbs that we use. All of those things definitely help for protection. Do you run into rodents giving you guys problems? Yeah. Yeah. We they love chewing do. wires. They do. They? Yeah. It's crazy. The, the squirrels are, are, are pretty bad. We've got a couple of bigger clients that we work with that we wrap 100 foot trees for them. We work with the Ritz Carlton and, and a couple other places. And the trees are, are can have severe issues with rodents. Mm-hmm. There's a couple of tips and tricks that we've kind of learned internally that oh, we can I imagine do you'd to have to. That. Yeah. You'd be going out every day. Yeah. To the same place. Yeah. There's ways to get around it, yes. Matthew, we're going to take a real quick break. We're going to get in a community partner. And, folks, we will be back. One of our greatest community partners, Bottom Line Tax Solutions. Jacqueline and her team at Bottom Line consistently save their clients money in taxes. So ask yourself, are you paying too much in taxes? You probably are. Bottom Line specializes in the three P's of income tax. Tax preparation, tax planning, and tax problem solving. 
Visit BottomLineGA.com today. And while you're at it, visit our new website, NEGABRX.com, to see all our new great community partners. Matthew, you still there? I am. I'm still here. Haven't run off on me. No, sir. Not yet. Good. What were we talking about, man? We're talking about squirrels chewing into power lines. That's right. And, and pellet guns. Or, no, nah, we weren't talking about that. One thing we were talking about, the guys that get into the light business during their off times of the year, they go out, they do a job, and you never see them again. Sure. We were talking about that. Yeah. Does that worry you at all? It does, yeah. So the the thing that our concern is – from the industry standpoint, is a level of customer service. So yeah. we want somebody to use a proven quality Christmas light company, someone who specializes in lighting or, or specializes in Christmas lights. There's a, there are several out there. Uh, we, we encourage people to look at those. But on the flip side of that, there is a definite concern around individuals who are not insured. And so a lot of homeowners or business owners won't really think about that. If you hire Chuck in a truck and he's not insured to do this type of work at your house, he's on your roof, he has an accident, now you are liable for that accident. Your homeowner's you, insurance becomes very attractive all of a sudden. Correct. And so we have seen that multiple times throughout our life of our business that yeah. that has happened. I don't want anyone getting hurt, number one. Right. But number two, it, it's really a difficult thing to see a business owner or homeowner call us and say, hey, I made a huge mistake, and there's nothing that we can help them. There, there's no way that we can help them. Well, it gives time. your industry a black eye. Correct. One that you don't, you personally don't deserve. Correct. Because you're doing it, at least trying to do it, right? Correct. I'm going to ask the stupid question. Sure. You guys are insured? We are. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, hey, workers' comp yeah. is a tricky thing. Sure. It'll cover this, but it may not cover that. Sure. And oh, heck no, we're not covering that. Yep. You never know. You never know. But if you are a lighting in installation company, yeah, it's probably going to cover that. Yeah, and it does. And, and, and we've locally, we, we've got some great insurance partners that we work with and we've worked with for so. a long time. They know the scope of the work that we're doing. Um, we're, we're very transparent with them. And so that way we're, we're covered. At the end of the day, I, I want to provide an environment that somebody can, can make a good living that they right. can support their family. That was why we got into the Christmas Ace originally. My mm-hmm. other seasonal business, I got tired of sending people away. Yeah. Right? I got yeah. tired of sending employees away in the winter, go find something else to do, and I hope you come back in the spring. That didn't sit well with me. No. Also, what we found was the good employees, they would go, or kind of A team players, mm-hmm. they would go, they would find something else to do, and then they would not come back in the spring. Our core business at that time was suffering retention rate with I, our customers. Yeah, I can see that. Because we had turnover of staff. It's very inefficient from a business owner. It doesn't show up on your P&L. There's a lot of issues that come along with that. But the customer experience was, was definitely being hindered. We found by able to offer quality employment year-round to our staff, we are able to maximize the retention of our, uh, our customers year over year, which has helped both businesses a lot. I can see that. But now you're taking it a step further. You have, you franchised, you've created franchises. We have. You've yeah, expanded. We sure have. So we, we started two Congratulations years Congratulations on that, Thank you. Way. Very much. That's we, not an easy task. It is not. No, we, we've been very blessed. We've got some incredible folks that work with us and mentors in my arena that have helped kind of pave the way for us in that. For the franchising space, we had some other seasonal business owners reaching out to us a couple of years ago seeing the success that we were having and saying, hey, how can you help me do that? Yeah. And we had a, a dream at that point, it was just a dream, that to say, like, I would love to be able to franchise this and help other business owners that are struggling just mm-hmm. like I was. Mm-hmm. They have a lot of work from mid to late February through early November, late October, but then they don't have really much or any work in the winter. Two, three months, yeah. Two, three months. Yeah. And so we started testing out our systems, getting our, our marketing dialed in, getting all of our business in a box, the ROI that you get from a, a franchise. Mm-hmm. It took us about two years to start, and, and we launched that this year. And so the Lighting awesome. Pros franchise, we're, we're really excited about that. We've got five locations now, nice. and we're, we're growing. The, the salesman in me wants me to tell you all the potential deals that are out there. As that's, you should, man. That, no, that's, the only problem is I don't do ladders. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, boy. That's okay. We can help you on, on training from that. But we, we really are excited. The thing that's exciting me a lot right now 
is helping that business owner that's struggling. Yeah. That landscaper, that pressure washer, that painter, even that roofer who just doesn't know what to do. And they don't want to be like Chuck in a truck who mm-hmm. does it on mm-hmm. a poor side. Right. And they do it to, to hurt the industry and the potential client. But they want to do it from a quality standpoint. But they just don't know where to start. They don't know how to vet vendors. They don't know how to set up their marketing. They don't know how to train staff. They don't know how to hire staff. They don't know all the operational growth. We've grown substantially over the last several years. We feel like we've kind of cracked the nut and mastered that growth standpoint. And so we're, we're excited to see how our franchisees do and, and be able to bless them. Segway, Bulldog 100. You talked about you've grown substantially. Bulldog 100. Yeah. Not everyone knows what that is. Give them a quick uh, idea what that is. Sure. So it's Very um, cool. Thank you. Um, the Bulldog 100 is the fastest – 100 fastest growing companies founded or managed by a UGA alumni. Mm-hmm. So I graduated from the University of Georgia from the Terry College of Business. Go dogs! Go dogs! I love the Georgia program. And um, we were the 10th fastest growing company in 2024. Top 10. Top 10. Uh, awesome. Of, of fastest growing year over year revenue growth. That's foremost. God's blessed our business. We, we've been very, very fortunate with that. We have an incredible team that work with us. We've got great clients that, that feel comfortable referring us, which mm-hmm. is a, a big deal for us. They stay with us year over year. We typically average in the 90 to 95% retention rate year over year. Dude, which is that's really awesome. Good. Yeah. Well, if you said 80, I'd be impressed. Well, we, we've, that's awesome. We've man. been really blessed. We, we really have. Well, you're doing a good job. We hope so. And when that one little bulb goes out, you're out fixing it. We are. One of our core values is to treat others the way you want to be treated, right? The golden rule. Right. It's just to right. show in respect to someone to treat them the way you want to be treated. And I know as, as a client, as a consumer, when somebody makes a mistake, it's not if they make a mistake, it's when. What matters to me is how they fix it. That tells me a lot about a business. It oh, is yeah. how they're willing to correct their mistake. I don't expect yeah. you to be perfect, right. but I expect when something's wrong to, to fix it. Yeah. And so that's something that we've tried to pride ourselves in. Mistakes happen in this industry, weather, squirrels. We've had vandalism. I mean, there's oh, across bet, the board. Yeah, right? There's there's several things that happen. And at the end of the day, I want to be able to put my head on my pillow and sleep well, knowing that I've done the best that I can that day. Nice. There's a website. Yeah. So thelightingpros.com. Thelightingpros. Thelightingpros.com is our website. Anybody interested in the franchise can, can contact us at lightingprosfranchise.com. We'd be honored to help. Any homeowner, business owner that's looking for outdoor lighting, specifically Christmas lights, we'd be honored to help. What is an ideal person, real quick, buying into the franchise? Someone who is used to ladders? I'm dead serious. Yeah, so somebody on, on that has that kind of equipment is great. Um, to so start. That, to helps. start, yeah. yeah. That, that's where your painters, obviously your roofers, roofers yeah. your, your landscapers somewhat, depending on the type of work that they're in, any kind of tree work. Those are, are really good franchisees for us. That is gotcha. a, a pretty easy shoe in for them. We have some folks that are, we've got one individual who's a fencing guy and he runs a fencing business and this is a separate entity for him. So it, it is, it doesn't, it's not required. Um, we do have year round work in the lighting business. So it is a standalone. If somebody's just looking to start their first business, they want something that they can work a few months out of the year and make most of the revenue all year long. Mm-hmm. They're welcome to do that. Or they can actually do this business all year long. So we install permanent lights. We install the permanent Christmas lights. We install, we do events, we do weddings. There's a whole other gamut of the, the outdoor lighting space that we service. All on the website. All on the website. Perfect. You're on LinkedIn? Yes. A little bit on Facebook? Yep. A little Sweet. bit on Facebook, on LinkedIn. Honored to connect with anybody any way we can help. I like it, man. They're going to play my music anytime. That's what those producer guys do. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Matthew, thanks for coming in, brother. Thank you for having me. That was good. Folks, Lighting Pros, thelightingpros.com. Get your yard, your property decked out. Very cool. Be that neighbor. Be the cool neighbor. I'm Tom Sheldon. We'll talk to you soon. Saving schools keeping you up at night? Let a Regions Banker help you build a Regions Greenprint Plan, a free financial roadmap personalized for what matters to you. Start building your financial confidence. Visit Regions.com to find a branch near you. Regions Bank, member FDIC.